Single punches are one of the main types of punches in boxing. Everything starts with them. Now our coach will show and tell in detail the features, technique and development of these types of punches. Do boxing correctly. single punches. Boxing begins with them. But first I would like to explain. If suddenly you hear that in 12 workouts somebody will put a knockout punch, or within a month they will build the punchline for you, most likely this is not so. Because it has to do with human physiology. It is impossible to teach a person in a month in terms of muscles. First of all, in the first year of training, only one punch is trained, the main punch, which is a direct one. In boxing, it is the most difficult punch. And after it, on the basis of a direct punch, a side, bottom and various modifications are placed, including complex punches, such as cross. This is already applies to an oncoming punch and swing which is also considered to be a pretty complex punch to its execution, its trajectory. You really need to grow to each punch. The movement of a direct punch, to make it clear, if you are a beginner, then you just need to understand how the whole system works. It is ternary. The first part is a hand, and the movement of just one hand. Don't do it like this or like this. It works as much as it straightens. Moreover, the first learning is just throwing one hand. You do it the way you throw a pebble. You don't need to twist or untwist anything. These are already nuances that relate to more or less trained boxers, who are already understand the amplification of the punch, and so on and so on. Therefore, the first movement is always the movement of the hand. The scapula is already stretching after the shoulder as stronger muscles begin to connect, the punch intensifies. Next, you need to learn and understand the system of how the hip walks, the extension of the hip, and the hip doesn't twist, doesn't twist. It goes simply, it extends to its maximum limit. And don't bother too much with your legs either, until your arm goes, until the shoulder blade extends, until the hip turns, don't touch your legs at all. When the movement of the hip begins to go out, the leg is already starting to turn behind the hip. It's very simple. So, first, throw your hand away. Second, pull the shoulder blade. And third, start pushing your hip. Just turn it in one line. You don't need to move anywhere. The shift occurs later. This is the fourth part, that you are already starting in terms of transferring body weight, until you understand how the arm, shoulder blade, and thigh comes out, it is dangerous to move the weight of the body, because a physical phenomenon arises, resonance, which most likely will simply take you away from the line of punch force. So, the movement of scapula, arm and hip, you transfer from one leg to another. Simply, one, one. You can't do these movements quickly at the beginning until you get stronger muscles, which is why there is a system of exercises that strengthen these particular muscles. Everything is simple. After a direct punch, when you already understand how your shoulder comes out, how the shoulder blade stretches, how the hip moves, how the body weight is transferred, the explanation of the side punch begins, because the side punch has an angle of the elbow, which also modified, and the shorter the angle of the elbow, the stronger the punch. Side punch. It's set up the same way. First, the movement of the hand. Here are the simplest exercises. This is twisting. This is also a gymnastic model. It is very easy to do. But to make it clear, the power of a side punch is in its rotation. Therefore, in the training model, I will explain. In the training model, the elbow is set to the side, 
and the arm moves, just like in normal physical training. Here you go. This is the first training. The first training trajectory of a side punch. Then the hand stops, and the same rotation is done to, let's say, a straight line, so that you do not twist. It's just gymnastics. Now you just make a movement with your hand. You make a movement with your body. In this way. And only in the third part. You begin to transfer the weight of your body. And already throw out your hand. From the body. That is, you don't need to put it aside. Because once again I emphasize, the punch, this is a property of the muscles in the first place. And in this position, well, your muscle strength develops its speed when it comes out from here. If you initially hold your hand like this and hit like this, firstly, it will be very inconvenient. And secondly, you will never hit like that. The punch comes out of the body. Here the body is slightly modified in the terms of inclination. That is, the direction of the falling body. That is, strengthening, connecting the muscles of the shoulder blade and also the back well, and the pectoral muscle goes, and you get a good exit. The model is simple, here it is exposed, and now the transfer of the body weight has begun. The most important thing is that you do not go beyond the line of the leg, from the direction of foot bending. If you twist, you will firstly lose time to return, and secondly, you will never have an accent. That is, an accent at the moment of stopping and tension a simultaneous tension of all percussion muscles. It's not so easy, because once again I will explain, all the percussion muscles, they must be pumped. Only one preparation takes from three to six months. Now the position of the elbow, also don't bother too much at first, because the position of the elbow is set in terms of working on shells. To explain that it need to be done like this or like this at the beginning is just a waste of time. A person won't understand, especially a child or some beginner, where is the nuance here, which rings and breaks off your hand. As a rule, this happens when you approach the back once, hit it incorrectly and understood everything. The arm hurts for three months. Therefore, just pay attention. Here is the straight line of a punch and here is the side one. Everything is the same, only on the side. Side punch is the same direct punch, only from the side. Straight one, side one. There is no need to invent anything, because if you will complicate the model, most likely you will simply not remember it in the fight. This is all done at the subconscious level. Punch from below. The punch from below is one of the most difficult punches in boxing, in terms of execution, because it's a very cunning, insidious punch, which lately I see it less and less even among professionals, because they don't bother much. As a rule, they only put quick punches that come from a straight line. But talking about punch from below, you need to be able to approach, and you need to be able to use it. The punch from below is placed on the basis of the side punch. The position of the elbow angle is simply lowered and the primary exercise is done just like this with one hand. This is the fastest way to the correct execution of a punch. After that, just like with a side punch, you did it like this. In the punch from below you already understand how the arm goes. Fix the arm in one position and try to make this movement already with the body, with shoulder blade and with back, like this. The hand stands still, fixed, and try to throw it out with your body after which the legs are already connected and the transfer of body weight, that is, you stand, dive, or you can simply throw it out in a straight line due to strong muscles, that is, with tension, as in a side punch. That is, the determining factor of strength is the angle of the elbow position. You don't need to wrap it under yourself. No way, just like throwing a pebble away from you, both with a direct punch, side punch, and from below, all three physical forces work in the same way. There is another exercise that helps with the development of punch force. This is throwing sand with a shovel. 
By the way, it was even prescribed in Soviet textbooks as a preventive exercise. And it has a place to be. In our next videos, we will try using the example of gymnastics and the simplest exercises that were invented a long time ago, just to show all the simplicity, all the reliability and all the power of single punches. In general, how would I say this, already for experienced fighters in boxing, there are no single punches. It is best to learn to hit a lot at once. Guys, start with the simplest exercises, and there, as information becomes available, it will become more and more clear what a punch is. It's like the farther into the forest, the fatter the partisans. That's all.